Well, as part of continuing efforts to undo Obama air reforms to the criminal justice system, Attorney General Jeff Sessions sent a memo to federal prosecutors today saying in any multi count indictment, they must prosecute the crimes with the most severe penalty. It means that we're going to meet our responsibility to enforce the law with judgment and fairness. It is simply the right and moral thing to do. CBS News Justice reporter Paula Reed joins me now by phone. So, Paula, explain this memo. What does it change exactly? Well, Rena, now prosecutors have to charge the crime with the highest sentence. So Sessions is telling them if you can prove it, you have to charge it. Previously, Attorney General Eric Holder had told prosecutors not to do that because there are a lot of drug offenses where the sentence can be significantly higher depending on the weight of the drug. And he wanted really to clear the prisons of low-level drug offenders, and he really wanted to focus on the worst of the worst. So he gave them the opposite uh, guidance. But Sessions here, he believes that there are problems with the laws, and you need to take that up with Congress. And he wants the laws on the books to be uniformly enforced across the country. And do you think this will have an immediate impact on prosecutions, Paula? This will. And, Rena, we're going to see more people going to prison, and they're going to be there for longer. Under the Obama administration, there were many different efforts to reform the criminal justice system, reducing sentences, not sentencing people in the first place, and they led to a decrease in the federal prison population. But that trend, Rena, it's about to be reversed. And what impact, Paula, do you think this is going to ultimately have on the federal prison population? Well, that's a great question because Attorney General Sessions has taken a few steps that signal we are going to have not only an increased federal prison population, but also an increased reliance on private prisons. And private prisons have been criticized for civil rights abuses and oversight issues. And at the very end of the Obama administration, Attorney General Sally Yates, she ordered less reliance on those private prisons. One of the first things Sessions did is he reversed that, and now we're seeing why, because he's putting in place a lot of different initiatives that we see are clearly going to increase the burden on the Bureau of Prisons. And what about civil rights, Paula? What do you think that this memo does when you're talking about that? Well, a lot of civil rights advocates have come out today, and they have, have had strong words uh, against this new policy. In particular, former Attorney General Eric Holder, he came out and he, he had a lot of initiatives he called smart on crime. Uh, he called this memo dumb on crime uh, in a statement. He also went on to say that he's concerned that this kind of memo will mean more money for jails and not enough money to hire additional prosecutors and agents. There are also civil rights groups that are saying this will have a disproportionate impact on minorities. And when you talk about marijuana, what impact does it have on marijuana enforcement? Well, there's another memo, uh, the most famous memo, I think, that was ever issued by the Department of Justice. It's called the Cole Memo, and that, that dictates how the Department of Justice deals with marijuana enforcement, especially in states where it's legal. Now, this memo, today's guidance, doesn't touch that. So the Department of Justice will continue to kind of lean back specifically on marijuana enforcement in states where it's legal. But, Rena, in talking to my sources, I'm not sure that the Cole memo is going to survive uh, Sessions' tenure as attorney general. Oh, that's interesting to hear. Paula Reed, thank you for joining us, Paula. Thank you.